Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video lecture, we'll be solving this problem path with mid maximum probability, which is a lead code medium problem. In this problem, we're given an undirected weighted graph of n nodes, which are labeled from zero to n minus one and an edge list called edges where each element in this edge list is a pair of integers representing an undirected edge connecting those pair of integers rep which represents the nodes with a probability of success traversing that edge which is given by the ith element in this array success probability fine so for each edge there is a number a real number associated with that edge which represents the probability of success of traversing that edge fine so that's why it is a weighted graph the weight of the edge represents the probability now we are given two nodes start and end we want to find the path with the maximum probability of success from the start node till the end node in the example we will be given the edges array the success probability array which contain real numbers and two integers representing the start and destination node while in the output we have to return and re return a real number which represents the maximum probability to move from the start to end the number of nodes in the graph may go up to 10000 while the nodes are labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and the start node is never equal to the end node while the element in elements in the success probability array lies between 0 and 1 fine so also there is at most one edge between every two nodes so there are no multiple edges or self edges so let's better understand the problem statement using an example so here we have the example same as the example given in the problem statement this is the graph which contains three nodes labeled from 0 to 2 and the start node is this node number 0 and the end node is this node number 2 we want to find the path with the maximum probability from the start node to the end node so one of the path to move from 0 to 2 is just traverse this edge and the probability for this is 0 0.2 fine another path would be to just would be to move from 0 to 1 then which has a probability of 0 0.5 then from 1 to 2 which has again a probability of 0 0.5 so what would be the overall probability now the overall probability for consecutive edges is computed by multiplying the probability of the edges of the path which we are traversing. So for this path, the probability would be 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is 0. Point. So the probability for this path would be 0 0.25 because 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. So out of these two probabilities, which one is better? So you can see that this probability, which is 0 0.25, is greater than the probability for the path from 0 to 2, which has a single edge hence for this test case the answer would be to move from 0 to 2 along the path which contains node 1 that is move from 0 to 1 then from 1 to 2 because it has greater probability hence the answer for this test case is 0 0.25 so how do we solve this problem so this is a very standard pattern we're given a start node and we are given an end node we are given a weighted graph all we have to do is to find the maximum weight path we can say okay or the maximum probability path so this is a single source shortest path problem we cannot use bfs here because bfs requires the graph to be unweighted while this is a weighted graph so for this problem we have to use diastra algorithm so you can solve this problem using diastra algorithm there are other ways to solve this problem like wellman ford but in this video lecture i will be solving this problem using diastra algorithm which is a single source shortest path so let's try to build the solution for this problem using diastra algorithm okay so this is so we are given this weighted graph we have a source vertex as 0 we have an end vertex as 2 so we want to move from 0 to 2 along the path which has maximum probability fine i will be using diastra algorithm for this problem so what do we do in diastra algorithm in diastra algorithm starting from some node initially we start from the source node we pick those edges which has least weight because by default diastra tends to find the shortest path from source to destination and hence it tends to pick up the edge which has least weight therefore we in the priority queue that we use in the diastra algorithm we keep the edges sorted according to their weights in increasing order so that the edge the adjacent edge with the least weight is picked up first and processed fine 
but in this case we tend to pick up that edge which has greatest probability why because we want the probability of the path to be maximum which is possible by only by selecting those adjacent edges which has greatest probability fine so how do we do that in this particular test case so let's dry run our dash trial algorithm so this is my so initially i take this priority queue so i take this priority queue and in this priority queue i push the source vertex which is zero along with its probability so what is its probability what is the probability what is the probability to arrive at the source vertex it is one because we are standing we are standing on the source vertex then i also take a probability array okay so i take a probability array and for node number zero i put one because that's the probability for node number zero now let's start our dust algorithm we pop this only element out of the queue so for node number zero we traverse its adjacent nodes which are node number one and node number two so so this probability array is initialized with zero it is initialized with zero because initially we have zero probability of reaching any node we haven't reached any node yet we haven't processed any node yet so i traverse its adjacent nodes so which one is the adjacent node so we can see we first traverse node number one and so what I had to check for this node number one, I check if the probability of arriving at node number one while we move from this zero to one, which is one, because one is the probability for node number one here, and the probability for this edge is zero point five. So what does this this gives me? This gives me the probability to arrive at node number one from node number zero, which is zero point five. Now I check if it is better than the probability which we already have in the probability array and the answer is yes because we have probability as 0 and 0 0.5 is greater than 0 so 0 0.5 is better than 0 hence i replace this 0 with 0 point so this is traverse and i push this node into the queue along with its probability then i traverse this edge which is from 0 to 2 and i check the probability to arrive at node number 2 through this edge from node number 0 and the probability is 1 multiplied by 0 0.3 which is 0 0.3 so is 0 0.3 better than the probability which we already have in this probability array and the answer is yes because for node number 2 the probability which we already have is so i put 0 0.3 here and this is also pushed into the okay so now so now i process the node which has greatest probability in this priority queue and that node is this node number one so i process the node number so here i have node number one which has probability 0 0.5 to arrive at and i explore its adjacent nodes which are node number two and node number three so what is the probability to move to node number two from this node number one that would be the probability to reach node number one multiplied by 0 0.8 and that would be 0 0.5 from this probability array multiplied by 0 0.8 that would give me 0. is this 0 0.4 better than the probability which you already have for node number two and the answer is yes we have 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 is better than 0 0.3 because it, it has a higher probability so the better path to reach node number two would be to move from 0 to 1 then from 1 to 2 so i and i push this node which is node number two into the queue along with its probability okay so i have node number two at the top again so okay so i have explored this node two through the node one now I explore node number three so what is the probability to reach node number three from this node number one that would be the probability to reach at node number one multiplied by one which would be 0 0.5 from here into one that would be 0 0.5 so for node number three we store 0 0.5 because 0 0.5 is better than zero okay and i push it into the priority okay so now we have 0 0.5 at the top of at the top of the priority queue for the node number three okay so now we process the top node in this priority queue which is node number three and for node number three what are the uh, what are the nodes which we can explore so what are the adjacent nodes which can be explored from node number three so we explore this node two and the probability to reach node number two from node number three would be the probability to reach node number node number three multiplied by the probability for this edge that would be 0 0.5 here multiplied by one giving me a final final answer of 0 0.5 okay fine 
which so i compare this 0.5 with the probability which we already have for node number 2 we have 0.4 in the probability array so 0.5 is better than 0.4 so i update this 0.4 with 0.5 okay so 0.5 is the new probability to reach node number 2 so this is out then i have node number 2 at the top of this parity queue so i pop it out and explore its edges and nodes so now i want to reach node number 1 through this node 2 so now explore the adjacent nodes of node number 2 so what are the adjacent nodes they are node number 0 1 and 3 let's calculate the probability for them we can't have greater probability for node number 0 because we already have probability as 1 so we can't go beyond 1 therefore we explore node number 1 the probability to reach node number 1 while moving through the node number 2 would be the probability to reach node number 2 multiplied by 0 0.8 okay so here i again encounter this node number 2 and its probability is 0 0.4 so why it is 0 0.4 here because here i'm considering the path which i took here from 0 to 1 then from 1 to 2 so if i go back from 2 to 1 the probability i'm traversing back to this node number 1 the probability will obviously be less because we have 0 0.8 here so there's no meaning in revisiting the node number 1 through this fine and to reach node number 3 so this is out so then i explore this node which is 0 point which is node number 3 and the probability to reach node number 3 through this node and the path would be 0 1 2 3 it would be 0 0.4 which is here multiplied by 1 which would give me 0 0.4 and but for 3 we have 0 0.5 so there's no meaning in updating the probability for node number 3 so this node is out then i again move to this pair which is for node number 2 again and the probability for this node here is 0 0.3 but again we already have a probability for node number 2 as 0 0.5 so there's no meaning in traversing the adjacent nodes of this node 2 with a probability lesser than the probability which we already have in this array so this is again out and hence this is my final array okay so this is my final array we have maximum probability for each node for node number 1 with the maximum probability is simply along the path from 0 to 1 that is a single edge so okay so this is the maximum probability for each node so what was our ending node it is node number 2 and for node number 2 the probability is 0 0.5 which is our answer hence 0 0.5 is the answer for this test case let's see the implementation of the idea explained here okay so this is my max probability function which takes in the edges or edge list success probability array which represents the probability for each edge starting node ending node initialize the answer with zero declare a priority queue push the source node into the queue along with its probability which is one create a list to store the graph iterate over all the nodes and create the graph using the bidirectional edges okay so then so in, in this in these edges the first integer is the node and the second integer is the probability or the edge weight then i declare a probability array and resize it and resize it to n to store the probability for n vertices then i initialize the probability for source node to 1 and then i run my while loop until the queue is not empty i pop the top node from the queue which which basically represents the node with the maximum probability the adjacent node with the maximum probability and here i'm checking if the node which i have extracted is the ending node if it is the case then i update my answer so this answer will store the final answer fine then i will iterate over the adjacent nodes of this current node and for all the adjacent nodes i will check if the probability to move through this node which has a probability of count c and t is better than the probability which we already have for that node. if it is the case then we update the probability for the node for the adjacent node and we push the corresponding pair into the queue with the new probability and the node value fine after we end this while loop we return our answer at the end of this function okay so, so this is the implementation so, okay so this is how the diastra algorithm is working here pretty straightforward problem let's see the time and space. since this is just a diastra algorithm the time complexity for this implementation is same as the time complexity for diastra algorithm which is m plus n log n 
where n represents the number of nodes and m represents the number of x while the space complexity is big of n plus m because we are using a priority queue so let's see the code implementation for the idea explained okay so this is a solution class which ha which has this max probability function which takes in the number of nodes edges array the array which we call as success probability which stores the probability for each edge start node and ending node so i declare my answer variable to and initialize it to zero then i declare a priority queue and initialize the priority queue with the starting node along with the probability to reach that starting node which is one then i declare the adjacency list to store the graph generate my graph from the given set of edges then i declare the probability array and initialize it with zero then i initialize the probability for the starting node to be one then i run my while loop till the queue is net not empty I pick the top node from the queue, then I pop that node from the queue. Then I check if the node which we have here is same as the ending node. If it is the case, then I update my answer. So if the probability which we have which we have here, which we have popped out recently, is greater than the probability which we already have in this answer variable variable, then we update the answer variable with that. Then I traverse its adjacent nodes and I check if, if it is better to arrive at the adjacent nodes through this node. If it is the case, then I update the probability for the adjacent nodes and I push the corresponding pairs pair into the queue with the new probability and the node number. Finally, after I end this while loop, I will have my answer variable prepared, which will store the maximum probability to reach the target node. Hence, I return the answer. Fine. So this is the implementation in C++. Let's see the implementation in other languages. So that's all for this video. If you like the video, then hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel Give you and give your feedback in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.